trying to figure out how, how do you put this into a report. I mean, what I have seen, the assessment of here of Ilavash, the houses that's down, the trees, the, the livelihood of the people that's gone, I mean, how can you explain that? How, how can you help these people to, to gain what they've lost? Now it's all gone, it's pretty much washed away, or, but a lot of people are traumatized. <laughs> Rescue workers say Haitians are stunned by how their lives have been transformed, from living in poverty to wondering whether they'll be able to live at all. Hundreds were killed when Matthew blasted across the country as a Category 4 hurricane, and the death toll is rising as more victims are found. One source of comfort, this orphanage on an island just off Haiti's southwest coast. It's run by a nun revered far and wide by locals and others. Relief worker Ailish O'Reilly knows her well. Sir Flora has been here for 40 or something years, and she really is. Uh, she's the mother of the island to a lot of people. Sister Flora Blanchett rescues orphans off the street and cares for 71 children, 21 of them with special needs. During the storm, she took in many others. Most are remaining there because their homes have been destroyed. So many people came there to take refuge in the orphanage and in the adjoining school because they're good, solid, uh, constructed buildings and they know that Sir Flora will look after them. But now floodwaters are contaminating water supplies. And what we're worried about now is that we've got a huge humanitarian crisis developing. We have no clean water on the island, so there's a big risk of cholera. More than a dozen people have been killed by cholera in the southwest so far. But regardless of what the future holds, people know that Sister Flora is looking after them, and that gives them hope. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.